morning and welcome to Build. There is a much more mainstream dialogue about the role of technology in our society. Is technology driving economic growth for everyone? Or is economic growth stalled in spite of technological spend? Is technology empowering people or is it displacing us? But we want to get started with Windows 10 and what that opportunity represents to all of you. And to do that, let me please welcome Terry Meyerson up on stage. Thank you. And today, we're so excited to share with you what we've been working on. The next wave of innovations from Microsoft. The anniversary update to Windows 10 coming this summer for free to all of our Windows 10 customers. With this anniversary update, more personal computing really does come to life more. Take Windows Hello. Today, you can more securely and easily log into your device than ever before. But with this anniversary update, you're now gonna be able to use this secure and easy biometric authentication with your apps. Or, even better, with Microsoft Edge, now will be the first and only browser to support this secure and easy biometric authentication to all of the supporting websites. With the anniversary update, we'll introduce an all new Windows Ink experience. Our goal is to make using a pen with your device as seamless and as easy as pen and paper. With this, an this anniversary update, we'll come to your Xbox One now bringing all of your Windows applications into your living room and enabling you to turn all any retail Xbox One into a dev kit. Ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all feeling this morning? Oh man, this, route, this side was louder. I'll give this side a chance now. How you feeling? So our goal with Windows Inc. is to really combine the, the naturalness and the speed of pen and paper with the power of a PC. There's four parts to this. Number one, we're gonna put this pen front and center so you know what to do with it. Number two, we're gonna make sure that we solve for the tasks that people are reaching for pen and paper most for. And number three, I'm gonna show you how Windows Ink is actually a deeper platform that enables faster and more fluid ink flow throughout the entire Windows experience, all right? So let's start with that, that first one, putting the pen front and center. Okay, so when I got my pen, I was super excited. Here I had some stuff I had to make sure I showed you guys. We're doing good on that so far. But watch this, I'm gonna make a new note here. My mom always gets worried when I do the demo. She calls me, you know, she speaks Spanglish. She mixes it up, we're Latin. Oh yeah, Brian, I'm worried. Did the demo go good? How are you feeling? So I gotta always remember to call my mom after this. So I wanna make sure that tomorrow I call mom. But watch what happens when I write tomorrow. Okay, look, first of all, look how easy and, and smooth this ink is flowing. But watch what happens next. I wrote the word tomorrow, and because we're combining the power of the pen and the PC, you see it turn blue. That's because we're smart enough to know that was handwriting, to know that it was a day, so that if I touch it, my homie who rocks at reminders, Cortana, is easily able to come up and actually set that reminder for me. Okay, and beyond just setting reminders of Cortana, Bing is integrated. We'll be able to recognize places, uh, you know, uh, maps, all kind of cool stuff. But look, look how easy this is now in, in Word. I cross out a word, it's gone. Maybe I don't like this whole paragraph, okay? We've always had inking in Word, but watch how the text is actually reflowing now. Also, if you're like me and you're not artistically inclined, maybe when you highlight stuff, it looks like this. That's cool, look what happens. Now, all of those experiences Brian just showed are built on our universal Windows platform. We designed this platform for all types of apps, from productivity, to gaming, to holographic. We designed this platform for all types of devices, from phones, to tablets, to PCs, to IoT, to large screens like Surface Hub and HoloLens or Xbox and more. And we designed this platform for all of our customers, for all the needs of our commercial customers and for those of our developer partners targeting consumers. The number of new developers is growing month over month with a 60% growth in just the last few months alone. And these developers are bringing some incredible new apps to the store, some coming very soon. Partners like Twitter, Bank of America, Starbucks, Uber, Disney, Square Enix, Yahoo, Worldwide Wrestling, and more. We want Windows to be home for developers. Let's start with some of the newest innovations coming to the Universal Windows platform. So here I have an application that I've built. I'm just going to launch it here. Now, one of the great things about native applications is the ability to really harness the power of the GPU and build stunning 
and more importantly, differentiated user experiences for your apps. We've added hardware accelerated, 60 frames per second, animation and effects. These effects bring richer and more immersive designs that create a sense of depth, layering, and fluidity. So I'm excited to announce that today we are releasing Visual Studio Update 2 and a preview of the anniversary SDK. We've seen lots of highly rated web apps submitted to the Windows Store, including American Express, Yahoo Mail, Zulily, and more. However, when we you know, talked with develop web developers, they still struggled with using Windows as their primary dev box. As many of them have workflows which rely on open source command line tools, scripts, and frameworks. We're gonna fix that so Windows can be your home. So today, I am so excited to announce the Bash Shell is coming to Windows. Yes, the real Bash is coming to Windows. This is not a VM. This is not cross-compiled tools. This is native Ubuntu Linux binaries running on Windows through the magic of a new Windows subsystem. Forza Motorsport 6 Apex is the first step in the Forza franchise moving to Windows 10. It's a focused experience that brings the best of what motorsport has to offer to a new player on the PC. Apex is actually a proof point of what first party can do with UWP and DirectX 12. With the universal Windows platform, we're able to drive it at 4K and 60 frames a second, the highest fidelity we've ever delivered. The universal aspect that's a real true promise for us is the ability to write our code once. We're still gonna tailor that experience so that it's the best thing you can get on Xbox, the best thing you can get on PC. But what it means is it's reduced the development time for us, and that really surfaces not only in the code that we write, but also the tool set that we get to use. And that's the thing that's gonna grow the most over time. Our goal as a first party is to make sure that that platform that everyone's running on is the best one that they can deliver games on. Moving forward, all of our games are gonna be shipping on Windows 10 and Xbox. The universal Windows platform is great for the game developers and gamers alike. It's gonna become even more powerful as a way of delivering amazing experiences across all of the devices in the Windows ecosystem. We've said from the start, we want Xbox One to be a great place for games and also a great place for developers of all sizes so you can create new games and application experiences. Today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox Dev Mode, giving developers the ability to convert the retail Xbox One into a development kit. Last year, here at Build, we asked you to share in our dreams for a holographic tomorrow a future where we bring 3D holographic content into the real world, enhancing the way we experience life beyond our ordinary range of perception. And today, today is the day where we leap from dreaming about mixed worlds to having Microsoft HoloLens become a reality exclusively. March 30th, 2016, Microsoft HoloLens the first and still the only untethered holographic computer will start shipping to our Windows developers and to our enterprise partners. At NASA, we're excited to apply mixed reality technologies to the challenges we're facing in space exploration. Through a collaboration with Microsoft, we're building applications to support engineers responsible for the design and assembly of spacecraft, astronauts working on the International Space Station, and scientists are now using our Mars tool on site. And intelligence is infused into all of your interactions. That's the rich platform that we have. And so let's start by talking about Cortana. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here at Build to get a chance to give you an early preview of our future plans. First, I want to talk about a new experience in the anniversary update. We want Windows to be the best place to have a voice conversation with Cortana. And today, there's a new Cortana App Store collection available so customers can check out some great examples. We want to go even further and make a voice conversation with Cortana as easy as a voice conversation with a human. Imagine if we can open up Skype, not only to have all the rich people-to-people -people conversations, things that we're doing with Skype Translate, 
or Skype on the HoloLens. But what if we can now bring in your personal digital assistant right to your conversational canvas? What if we brought the world of bots, the new applications, to be able to do anything, like hire a cab, book a ticket, anything that you may want to do that you've done historically with applications and websites, now with bots right from within Skype. So hopefully you get a feel for the richness of these intelligent services that you can use. And now it is up to each of us as developers to imagine what's possible.